Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome, my Libra friends and friends of Libra. This is the Divine Phoenix Rising Tarot, and hey, I'm Zachary. Thank you guys for joining me here, and welcome to my table. So Libra, how are you guys doing? I hope that you're doing well. It's been a minute since I've seen you, and I have missed you. Um, so let's go over messages that came through in meditation. We'll move into oracle cards and tarot as we do. I did get a glyph for you guys this time. A symbol did come through. So I'm going to show this to you uh, to, up to the camera here. If you want to pause the video, feel free so that you can draw it out to utilize this as well. So the title of this is called The Feather Key. So the Feather Key here, the intention of this is to unlock all potential. So if you are feeling stuck right now, if you're feeling like maybe there is a goal or uh, that you're working towards or progress that you want to make, but there's just this feeling of maybe something, maybe you do feel something needs to be unlocked. You know there's something inside of you that is available to help you move forward in some way, a skill that uh, you have the ability to expand, but there's just something that's kind of blocking it. So this will help, unlocking all of your potential. Um, so with this symbol, you're gonna hold this up to your third eye in meditation and you're going to say this. At this time, I unlock my destiny and with gratitude, I step into my full potential. I'll say that again so you don't have to rewind it if you, unless you want to. At this time, I unlock my destiny and with gratitude, I step into my full potential. So any time that you're feeling blocked, maybe thwarted by your own um, subconscious, I feel like the intention of this is to help open up the skills that you already possess, the direction that you already want to take. Whatever it is that your subconscious is trying to speak to you that you may be having a difficult time seeing as well. I do, I am actually kind of getting a caution. I, I feel like that's a strong word coming through on this, an awareness, okay? Just to be aware. This will help, <clears throat> excuse me, this will help to unlock potential. Part of potential, though, is awareness of what's going on inside of you maybe to help move you towards whatever your potential is. So don't be surprised if something comes up after you unlock this as well in that meditation or in dream time. I highly encourage journaling. It's one of the best ways to illuminate to ourselves what our own subconscious is trying to say to us, okay? So enjoy that. I hope that that is helpful for you on your journey. So Libra, let's go ahead and move into the only other uh, message that came through, by the way, was gratitude. Gratitude was something that was coming through pretty heavy on that meditation. So let's move into the wild unknown archetypes here. I'm going to pull an oracle card in this deck. And then um, the blue angel oracle was being, being called as well. Ooh, interesting. So you guys have the shapeshifter that comes through. And this is number 15, so um, connected to the devil as well in the tarot. I feel like as we're talking, <laughs> that makes sense actually that that was coming through as that caution then. With unlocking, unlocking here, <laughs> unlocking this potential, what I'm getting here, what I'm seeing is this room, um, like a cellar. You're going, you know that there's some treasure or... Um, ability, something to, to aid you on your journey here, maybe something that you've lost and are looking to reintegrate into your life at this time. So being in the cellar, I feel like this is kind of deeply buried, but what I'm seeing is opening the cellar door. There is that treasure that's inside there, but it's also opening up um, stale air, right? Maybe spiders, um, dust, mold potentially. It's not um, anything that's like seriously life-threatening, but there's also something in the shadow that needs to be addressed as well. So with the shapeshifter coming through here, um, and there's a tear as well. Okay, cool. There's that third eye, the jewel on the third eye, and then there's a tear there too. I do feel like something's going to be released here, you guys. So just be prepared. This is something that is necessary in order for you to get to that treasure chest, okay? Got to clean out those cobwebs. I don't feel like there's anything intense. It's just um, maybe you weren't expecting, uh, mm, interesting. 
being a shapeshifter here too, maybe whatever this skill is, maybe you have an idea of what it is, maybe you don't. But if you do, maybe it's taking a different shape than you expected it to or wanted it to. So I do get this encouragement to be flexible, to allow whatever, whatever that potential is that comes through or is unlocked, allow it to be what it is. Okay. So what do we have here for Libra here in the Blue Angel Oracle? Spirit. Oh, oh. Forever in my light comes through. So I'm actually going to read this one from the book. I'm feeling, I'm feeling called. These are pretty short, so hang in there. Safe and sound. Love it. You live forever within the light of creation. There is no need to worry. You and those you love are safe. The healing light of angels fills heaven and earth. It is everywhere, always. Feel it in your heart like an eternal flame glowing throughout the universe. Through your days and nights, forever uniting, healing, and transforming all. So that message of safe and sound coming through. Um, like I said, in unlocking something here, maybe there's going to be a little bit of foundational shifting or vibration. I don't feel like this is going to rock your foundation. It could. Maybe it could have the ability to do that. But as long as you work to remain grounded, to remember that you are safe and sound, you are protected, you are guided, you were guided to this message here to utilize this symbol at this time. I don't believe that this would be coming up unless you were ready for it, okay, Libra? So give yourself some grace and compassion and take some courage for whatever does come through because working through whatever's happening in the shadow there, that component is affording you the ability to really overcome obstacles that you weren't or haven't been able to overcome in a while or maybe ever i feel like you're able to push past your own limits here love it okay so let's pull an animal spirit oracle for you too this is the wild unknown animal spirit oracle what do we have here for libra please spirit the elephant yes oh yay you guys <laughs> also the hawk here at the bottom is standing out to me um, I feel like, yeah, cause that's there too, that eyeball. You've got the third eye jewel, but then there's this eye here too. So the hawk is an energy of paying attention, having good sight for uh, what's in front of you and also what's off in the distance. So there's an encouragement to not focus too heavily on one, but to find this balance. The hawk is able to see both distances very clearly. And I feel like this is a part of what's being unlocked for you. This may be where there's a little bit of resistance because either in the distance or up close, there may be something that you have been intentionally trying to avoid. Maybe you intentionally put it in that cellar room. <laughs> Maybe that's what's coming out and you forgot that it was there. You definitely have the energy to take care of this though. Okay, you guys. So elephant coming through here. This is an energy of obliterating obstacles. It's connected to Ganesh or Ganesha being the obliterator of obstacles. So this is an opportunity right now, unlocking your full potential, like I said, to push past obstacles that have um, caused you distress in the past, being able to push past where you've never been able to push past before. Sometimes this energy can present itself as an obstacle, an obstacle presenting in order to obliterate through another obstacle. So it's kind of like protection through redirection. That may be an energy coming through for some of you, but I feel more so um, just we're getting them the hell out of here, right? We're going to blow those out, of the, blow those out of the water. I love that. Yay, Libra. Yay. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into your tarot messages here. See what else we have going on. This is the untamed tarot I'll be starting with the star here at the split. I love to see that. Uh, renewed hope, you guys. Wish come true. Connecting in ways you haven't been connected before. So what do we have here for Libra, please, Spirit? And huge shout out to my channel members. You guys, thank you so much for your love and support. If you're interested in becoming a channel member yourself, there's a join button right next to the subscribe button under this video. You can hit subscribe if you haven't already. If that's not there, because sometimes it's not, uh, YouTube is weird sometimes, you can... Go into the description of this video. There's a link there as well that you can 
uh, joined that way, all right? I do have personal readings open and available at this time. If you're interested in that, you can check out my website. There's a link in the description of the video as well. Okay, so basically. Mm. I'm seeing like a like crosshairs as I close my eyes here. I feel like we're really we're really zoning in on a target, okay? This is something I feel like you guys are aware, whatever this is that you're working towards. This is something that is um, in your cognizance, okay? The potential that you're wishing to unlock. Three of swords here at the bottom. This could be what's in the cellar room here too. So this is your hope, hopes and dreams. Three of swords here is about heartbreak, heartbreak and loss, shitty feelings. <laughs> Um, it's not something that we want to experience, right? Being in the hope here, but it is something that we experience. Suffering is a part of the human condition. This is where having a great deal of compassion towards ourselves is very, very important to be able to walk ourselves through our own life, right? So with the Three of Swords here, I feel like this is your, um, you're aware of what the heartbreak is, like I said. Maybe there was a relationship ending uh, you've lost something somewhere. Somebody caused you pain. Somebody was hurtful or disrespectful. I feel like you've been working towards healing this pain, though, and good on you, because that's what we do with the Three of Swords. We can't sit in this energy for too long. We have to We have to work to, to heal it. So being in your hope, I feel like that's what you guys are working on. You hope to heal that heartbreak. And I feel like this is possible, especially with the elephant coming through. Obliterating those obstacles. Justice here at the split. This is your card. Yay, you guys. Balance and fairness coming through. I feel like this is also your higher self just highlighting your energy at this time. Saying, listen up. Okay, listen up, Libra. So this is the This May Hurt Tarot. Spirit, what do we have for Libra? And this is a general message, you guys. So please keep that in mind. You're extremely intelligent, so please use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher which messages are for you. Leave the rest behind. Check out your rising moon, Venus, any other major placements in your chart. We do have every sign in our chart, just depends on where. So I encourage you to take a look to get a more complete picture of your story. Ten of Wands here at the bottom. So this is your fear aversion. This is, um, whatever this is, this is most definitely the obstacle that we're talking about obliterating here. Unlocking your full potential. This is releasing a burden. Releasing something that's been heavy on the heart in particular. So having the Three of Swords come through there, that's interesting. For some of you, I'm kind of getting a feeling of, with the Three of Swords, um, like revenge. Um, you hurt me first. <laughs> I feel like, uh, although that is uh, also a part of the human experience with the ego, I encourage you to try to look at what that actually does for you, okay? If that's something that really does serve your highest good in the long run. You're the only one who can make that decision, but that's up to you. So being in your fear, aversion, anxiety here, I feel like there is um, there's a concern over releasing something about that heartbreak. You want to release it, but there's also, like, who am I without that heartbreak? Maybe this is something that's been going on for a long time. Since childhood, maybe it's something all you ever known. Hmm? Let's find out who you are without that heartbreak, okay? Without that weight. So, starting off here, we have Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords is a very, um... I feel like this is what we're unlocking here, okay, as far as potential. This is kind of getting stuck in the head. Very Gemini energy, but your fellow air sign, okay? Um, we have a tendency or we can get stuck in our head if we think too much about something. If we're constantly ruminating on something, that's kind of the energy I get with this, is ruminating. And this explains that process of being stuck between wanting to release that heartbreak and also feeling like, I don't know how or... Who am I without it? There's a little bit too much thought, I feel like, that's going into your situation right now. Trust me, as a Gemini, <laughs> um, I can think myself to death. And it really can 
be a superpower, but it can also be my greatest weakness. So I feel like the encouragement here right now is to just pay attention to that. Allow yourself to see different angles from things. With the hawk coming through there, allow yourself to see different perspectives on a situation. What's coming through is actually, um, it's not excusing any behavior of anybody, okay? This is for your own personal gain. In meditation as well, if you want to do this with the symbol, if there's somebody in particular that you're thinking about that's hurt you, that you're working to release here, consider them as the inner child that they are inside of them. Allow your inner child to come forward, call in their inner child as well, and try to look at that situation on how you would engage in the present moment here with another person's inner child. Like I said, that doesn't excuse or make any behavior okay. The point of this is to help allow you to see something from a different angle so you can get yourself out of these binds. Okay. So Page of Cups comes through here next to clarify the Eight of Swords. This is, um, there is like an overwhelm of emotion that's attached to this. So I feel like yeah, you're kind of going back and forth between being stuck in the head and then the emotions are maybe exacerbating that situation as well. Like you think about, oh, I'm going to get out of this situation. I'm going to change the way I'm thinking. And then your emotions come up like, but screw that person, remember? <laughs> um, it is important to be compassionate towards ourselves and our own emotional experience. And it's also important to step outside of that circus sometimes too, so that we can gain a little bit more clarity and control over the situation too, because it can become circuitous. Our emotions trigger our thoughts, our thoughts trigger our emotions, okay? And we are not our thoughts, we are not our emotions. We are much more beyond just this human experience. I know you know that. Um, I do also feel this is your potential, okay? This fish here represents an idea, something that this individual, you, want to bring into this experience. But there's a need to pull that down from just dreamland, just imagination land. We have to put work into making that real. And right now, I feel like with the shapeshifter that's standing out here and forever in my light, maybe you're not feeling safe. Maybe that inner child inside of you is not feeling safe to allow that cycle to be broken. Maybe that's your comfort zone, right? This is just a reminder here from spirit that you are really the one in charge of this show, okay? You may, there may be an overwhelm of emotion. There may be traps happening in the mind. Use this symbol here as well, that feather key, to help you break this cycle, to allow yourself to move into your full potential, okay? Okay, Libra. Ooh, yay. I feel like you guys, whatever this is talking about here, you're really, you're going to do it, okay? Nothing is a switch, but sometimes we just need to, like, get our footing. And I feel like this is where you're heading, okay? So in your good stuff here to start, you have death. 13, death. And that's actually, that's uh, forever in my light, too, is 13. Death, I love that. So um, being in your good stuff here, this is a, a transition, a transformation, something coming to an end so something else can begin. And I feel like I'm seeing that door open in the cellar again. It's like um, the death, the transition, what's ending here is um, that maybe being locked away safely or this having a feeling of safety that it's locked away. But what's being born is your anything, anything that you want to become or can become, will become, because you're opening this door. This is beautiful. I love this, you guys. I love this for you. Oh, yay. Okay. So, the Hierophant comes in here to clarify this. What I'm getting from this is, um, is to allow... Okay. It's more than okay to ask for help outside of ourselves, to look for help outside of ourselves. As an example, on YouTube here, tarot readers, um, or any, any situation where you're seeking guidance, the Hierophant here can symbolize like a spiritual leader, ascending through spiritual processes, you ascending, spiritually speaking. Um, what I'm getting here is to, to allow your own spirit team your guides, teachers, ancestors, um, source, okay, creator, energy, 
to allow yourself to be instructed personally by that energy. Like I said, it's more than okay to seek guidance, confirmation from others. Sometimes we need that. But it's really important to develop this skill within us first, okay? Or along the way. So whatever's dying, I feel like it's a part of that is this story that maybe maybe you can't tap into spiritual advice or guidance or intuition or that others are more in tune than you are. While there are varying degrees of people's ability to connect, a lot of that comes down to practice, okay? Practice builds strength. So if you're not meditating, if you're not journaling, if you're not taking the time that you deserve to invest into your own spiritual growth, it's happening, okay? This is an opportunity for you to start unlocking that potential, especially a whole new Libra. I love it. You guys can do this, okay? So what you don't see coming, what's in the dark here, the Six of Swords. This is a transition, you guys. <laughs> so with death as well, love this. I feel like this is a big change, okay? It may not seem huge on the outside, but this is something like what I'm seeing is um, in The Wizard of Oz where the black and white turns into Technicolor for the first time. This is a big enough shift for you that it changes the way that you perceive colors or experience with your senses this life. Maybe you've been in a, a brain fog, you know what I mean? The Six of Swords here though, this transition does require that we release something in order to make this transition. Ten of Wands here at the bottom with your fear. It's okay to have fear and we're gonna have fear. That's never ever going to end. But that doesn't mean that we have to be afraid, okay? So whatever this transition is, I feel like really it's just releasing whatever expectations or stories were told to you about your own capability and your own abilities. Now it's time to throw that shit away. <laughs> you don't have the time to carry it, okay? It's too heavy, too heavy of a weight to carry. And it was never yours to carry. So let's make that transition, make that change. King of Swords comes through here as well. So the King of Swords is, um, all kings are leaders, forms of authority. This is um, very much uh, an air energy as well. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, I feel like this attached to the transition, the request here, again, is for you to become your own form of authority. What you don't see here in the dark that's coming forward is you being that form of authority, being able to handle whatever it is that you need to handle to transition to this next step. You're more than capable of doing this. The King of Swords is a very capable person. There's an amount of honesty and truth that comes through with the King and Queen of Swords. Uh, they don't tell no lies, okay? So what I feel from, again, that symbol coming back, opening up this cellar door, once you do that, whatever comes forward, you're not gonna be able to lie to yourself about, okay? And the point is to be open and honest with yourself. Maybe that's the baggage that needs to be released to take this trip or this transition, is you pushing aside the truth on something, okay? Okay, so your obstacle or difficulty in this situation, you have Five of Swords. So Five of Swords here is um, conflict, really. Fighting for the sake of fighting. I feel like what's really standing out with the Five of Swords, you've got the Three of Swords and the Two of Swords, right? The Three of Swords here was in your hope. So whatever heartbreak, loss, pain, stormy emotions that are connected to that Three of Swords, the difficulty here is adding, adding that Two of Swords to it. A need to make a decision, being at a crossroads weighing or balancing the two weighty um, thoughts, memories. Hmm. I feel like the longer that you go not approaching this, making the decision to choose one path or another, 
the more that you're falling into this like fighting for the sake of fight this is this is putting pressure towards your own experience that doesn't need to be there the energy that's flowing right now is working to get you to see something to be truth truthful towards yourself about something so that you can choose the best path forward and i feel like either path or however many paths you have that are available to you right now are good paths. I don't feel like either, you know, any of them are wrong. The difficult part here is um, having faith in yourself, realizing that you are safe and sound, no matter which path you choose. Okay, Four of Cups comes through here next to clarify. This is, um, I, I can see this being a difficulty. So being stuck on negativity, pessimism, laziness, um, whatever happened here, the emotions that are attached to that, I feel like this is something that has been going on for some time. This is a habit that's been built at this point. So there's a request here to work to step outside of that, like I said. To see something that is being offered to you. And this offer, I feel like, is you. You are offering yourself a new chance at life here, a new opportunity. We are the masters of our reality. We are co-creating here. There are forms of chaos that come through and we can learn from that as well. But when things happen to us that are shit, that hurt, cause trauma, we always have the choice to look outside of that situation for another path. To be compassionate towards our own experience, to allow ourselves to start again, to grow, to allow love back in, hope, joy, positive energy. Maybe you've been feeling stuck in a rut. And based on this being the difficulty here, I feel like that's exactly what's going on. Okay. Libra, I know you can do this. Meditation is something that's standing out on this card here too. Um, being a difficult, maybe the whole idea with this symbol coming through here too, being in meditation, this is something that you're finding difficult. To find the time to sit down to do that, maybe you're finding yourself making excuses. I feel like I don't have the time, I can't sit to think, what have you. Meditation can also be done in motion. By the way, just for my neuro spicy friends, okay? Um, I walk and meditate all the time. I feel like this is a situation though, if you're using this symbol, we're definitely looking at like sitting and making the intention to do that. But with elephant coming through, we're blowing the excuses away at this point, okay? Even asking yourself maybe why you're making those excuses could be important, but let's open that door. I know you can do this, Libra, and I love you guys so, so much. If this is where I leave you, thank you for joining me. I do have an extended I'll be moving into if you're interested in joining me there. There are links in the description of the video. Again, I do have private readings open. You can check that out on my website. Please like, share, comment, subscribe if this message resonated with you at all. I really appreciate the support in helping grow this channel. Um, that is my goal here, and I love you guys for it. So thank you, thank you. I have my Cash App and PayPal links in the description too if you feel drawn to tip or donate. I will certainly accept that. It does support the channel and goes a long way. Thank you guys so much to those who do support the channel in that way. I love you. Okay, take care of yourselves, you guys. I will see you all very, very soon. Be well.